There's a lot to talk about today. I know I said it's the end of Daniel Larson, uh, me talking about him. Well, what I actually said is I think that we need to stop talking about him unless something uh, necessary comes up. Of course, I somebody reached out to me the other day and said, like, Papa God, I have some videos here that you might want to see. Um, they're very telling with the way that he treats his caregivers, and I watched through a couple of them, and, like, yeah, it is kind of... It is kind of, uh, it's kind of bad, man. It's, like, shitty, the way that he treats his care provider. So I wanted to talk about that. Uh, and I figured while we're doing that, we might as well take a look at some of the weird shit going on in his account. Because, honestly, he's becoming rather unhinged. Uh, I'm not going to watch through. Most of his content on his old account, he's, like, 40 accounts, is just... It's really just him asking for money on Cash App. Uh, this is what, I guarantee this is what this is. Because no one is currently responding. Wait, what is this? I currently have no ride home from the airport currently. Because no one is currently responding. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh, but okay, this happened a couple days ago. Obviously, he's home now. But yeah, there's been a lot of videos like this. Grace Vanderwall, please reach out to me. I want to help clear everything and collaborate. Um, this is like weird stuff. What should I do for breakfast? I don't care. Looks like I am shit. still stuck at the airport. Okay. Like this stuff, top or bottom. Like, you know what that means. Um, I think I might get Taco Bell. Okay, great. This is not for Grace. My fans are going crazy again. What does that mean? Um, oh, he must have removed one of them. I feel like there was something like really inappropriate. I don't know. It's possible that he has control of this. He has a new account, though. It's like a sports account. I don't really understand what's happening. I guess he just... I don't know. Dude, I really just... I'm having trouble really navigating Daniel Larson because um, there's information that suggests that like Daniel Larson is an asshole and has control over his shit. But then there's other information suggesting that like some like 14-year-old managers have control of his shit. You know, like this whole scenario is just insane. So I, I don't know why he has a new one called Daniel Larson Sports, but he went to a game and. Um... Hello, everyone. This is Daniel Larson. Please follow this account. This is my new temporary account. Thank you. Is, maybe he's getting bammed. Hello, everyone. This is Daniel Larson. Please donate to my Venmo at Daniel. Daniel Larson 98, thank you. He has a new Venmo. I wonder if he has control over that. Dude, I wouldn't doubt that, like, um... This doesn't even sound like him, does it? Hello, everyone. This Hello, is everyone. Just watching people play baseball. Uh, these are always the weirdest videos of Daniel just staring into the camera and, and showing his music off. For some reason, this one had, like, an insane amount of views. Like... Almost 300,000 views just for this. <laughs> just don't get it. Hello, this is Daniel Larson. If you guys can please donate to my Venmo. He's taking Charlie D'Amelio in this now. Oh my god. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Daniel? Here's a hot dog. What does this mean? I'm currently at the Rockies game. Hello everyone, this is Daniel Larson. Take Please Starbucks. donate to my Venmo. Dude, all he does is ask for donations. Hello though. everyone, this is He's Dan been spam tagging me in so many videos though. It's so annoying. Daniel Larson in I guess it's on his early other November of 2021. I'm going to have my album release called Daniel Larson Rebirth. Go check it out. Okay. This is kind of bull crap. I can't believe somebody would report one of my videos for just advertising my god dang album. Where the fuck has TikTok gone to? Oh, I feel that. I will say TikTok is sl slowly and get getting better. I had like five videos pulled down yesterday. Uh, it was insane. I had like a, like a report streak. Uh, like two of them actually stayed down. Ridiculous stuff. I made like one that used a TikTok audio that was like, oh, let me like, you know, a bunch of suggestive weird stuff. But it was an audio on TikTok. And I just said it when me and like Joe Bart and Curly Daddy and Big Yu Yu were in Discord together. And it's them saying gay stuff. But whatever. Um... Hello, everyone. This is Daniel Larson. Please check out my upcoming album. I don't care. 
Hello everyone, this is Daniel Larson. Please donate to my... Let's go. I'm just looking through these for context. Oh, Colorado. <clears throat> like, sometimes it's Hello necessary. Hello everyone, this is Daniel Larson. I was just at the 7-Eleven gas station. Okay. And, um, I tried to get a $2 drink. I put about $10 onto my debit card and it ended up saying that it was approved but then the guy at the counter told me that it was declined i don't know what's the issue because he told me to redo my card after i left i found out that the gas station pretty much ripped ripped me off about fifty dollars so we are asking now for donations of fifty dollars to basically gain back what that company lost and we're also going to try to sue. So please donate to my Venmo at Daniel Larson 98. Thank you. I just I just feel like that's just not true. <laughs> like that just feels not true. I don't even understand. Like 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 if you were wronged for $50, why would your next logical step be, "Oh, let me ask you for $50." It would be to get your money back. You could report this to Citibank or whatever bank you I I mean obviously you got to use Citibank. Whatever bank that you use, I don't know, and get this to work. It's just, just I just asked, it sounds like a cash grab. So, something weird's going on. My bank account um, lost another $5. And the bank is telling me that they don't see anything wrong. But, um, we're losing. A if anything, it sounds like like his manager, somebody he has like holds over his accounts now. Like again, like I, like the, I mean, he needs to stop engaging with people. A lot of money. Um, it's about two hundred dollars this month is just disappeared. Yeah, as I said, the gut too. We got to help this kid. Now. And we're trying to figure out what's going on. Maybe I really should. The bank uh, is telling me that there's Larson. nothing wrong, and that um, we have money pending. But, um, unfortunately, it should not be pending. It should actually be straight up in my account. Oh, well, if it's um, pending, then who cares? So. so, I'm being basically charged for <laughs> an issue that no one knows why. So, please, um, support. Okay. Yeah, that seems to be about everything from there. I w like, listen, I know a lot of people want me to talk to Daniel. I would talk to him. It's fine. He would have to get Discord and do it on my time, though. Like, I'm not exactly excited to talk to this guy. These, though, are more than anything else, like the videos I'm focused on. Somebody sent these to me, like I said before. Now, I asked them how they got them. And they're saying they're like an anonymous source. If you notice, all of these videos in this folder, I just I saved them instead of talking. Because I got them on Discord. I'm not, I'm not trying to show the guy. Um... <clears throat> All these videos are done in TikTok style, though you can't see a TikTok like handle. It's just weird. You guess it was just done in phone style. I'm although yeah, I guess it's just phone style. I'm just an idiot that uses TikTok. What I find interesting though is that like they have access to this, and we know that Daniel Larson will generally make a video and then he will send it to his managers, or at least that's like what his management used to do, my understanding. Um <clears throat> And so I'm wondering if like this was a, ma a manager that had access to these videos because they asked Daniel for them. Either way, they're very revealing. And honest, like I'm just gonna show them. Let's just start playing them. Why did you? This is the this is like him talking to his management or his management, his caretaking team or whatever. You just threatened threatened me with the FBI. What the fuck is the FBI gonna do, bitch? If you notice a hole here, I feel like that might have been Daniel, because he's he's been shown to make like a bunch of holes and stuff everywhere and like damage property. Why did you threaten me with the FBI? Uh, All right. Who's, who's he talking That's it. to? I'm moving again. Daniel seems to be a problematic uh, resident. That's all I'll say. Let's get the next one. Why are you so rude to me today? Asking you to wash your hands is being rude. 
she said, uh, I think it's a, a she. She just said, like, oh, asking me to wa- asking you to wash your hands is rude. Like asking that question. I did. He and then she said you used the toilet. So it sounds like they were asking Daniel to wash his hands after he used the toilet. I did not use the toilet, so stop. Okay. You need to learn to mind your own business. Uh, I don't know what they're saying. It's her business is you. She gets paid for this. Shut up. You need to learn to mind your own business. Oh, then she said stop being like nasty. That's it. Okay, yeah. Poor, poor lady, honestly. This fucking person is just trying to do their job. What's your problem today? Why have you I had an issue with every single thing I've done? Like, just because I coughed once and you're, like, having a problem with it. Dude, honestly, this gives me, like, Daniel Larson. See, this gives me the vibe that, like, Daniel Larson, if he- I think he has autism, but he seems to be, like, very high-functioning. And or not very, but he seems to be high functioning. Usually, when it comes to functioning levels of like autism, I know a lot of people know people who have autism but aren't in the system. Um, when we when we refer, like I guess from a more clinical perspective, I don't really know. But when you usually refer to somebody with like high functioning autism, it's usually somebody who still needs support, but they can like wipe their own ass and like follow basic directions and work like menial labor jobs. <laughs> So Daniel Larson seems like the kind of high functioning person who belongs in a facility, but also is the kind of person who kind of knows what's going on enough to know that he can take advantage of the workers because there are a lot of protections in place for people with disabilities, which makes sense, of course. But those protections, actually, if you're aware of them as somebody that has a disability, you can like do whatever you want. Like you guys, you have to understand, like if you raise your voice at somebody if you like get a little tonage like if you're like hey that's abuse like it's incredible what's labeled in abuse and it makes sense but if you have someone like daniel larson he who knows what he can get away with he knows this worker can't really do very much to defend themselves so he's sitting here filming these people and it's actually a, a violation to film them back you can't you can't film somebody in the system uh, as a worker so they know they can't film him back or like record any of the times he's being a shitty person. And so like it seems Daniel seems like the kind of guy who takes advantage and I'm not I'm saying it's speculative, but he seems like the kind of guy who takes advantage of his like position in the system. And yeah, like his whole inflated ego over being famous probably doesn't help the situation. This is exactly why I left to California. And like that kind of like irks me because I was saying that a lot of I th- uh, that his managers influenced him. And I still do think that they did. But I think the influence comes from people thinking Daniel Larson or Daniel thinking he's a he's like a William Hung. Yeah, except an asshole <laughs> thinking that he's like a famous person. Um, but they're not. They're just like doing their job and trying to keep Daniel under like, you know, like if you see. Remember, you've seen his room before where he puts holes in the walls and shit, you know, like you can't do anything about that when you when you're in a care home. You do realize it's illegal for you not to feed your clients. It's like this. You're, oh, you have to feed, not feed your client. Like, dude, you know that they're feeding him. Um, he's just like being an asshole and wants to eat right now. So it, this kind of gives me the vibes of like Daniel's like, oh, I want to eat right now. Even though there's probably a scheduled dinner time. It's usually how, how the houses work. Like, And also Daniel doesn't actually need help making dinner. He just wants to use, like, you don't need help making dinner. You can let people make their own dinner, but he probably wants them to do it. And so he's being a dick. Hello, can you hear me? Are you refusing to answer? I would. Because you also, as like somebody like a DSP, uh, that's what they would be. You're you're allowed to su- su- like recommend or suggest like or you're allowed to say that you don't want to be on camera. What I find interesting here, though, is this seems to be a different type of home. Uh, like if you look up here, these are family photos. So this kind of suggests to me that maybe this is someone's actual house, and then they get extra money to just take care of Daniel and take care of him, rather than a more traditional. Um, what would they? I, what's what's the name of the house? Like house? I forget what the name is, but or group home. Uh, but it's it's all speculation.
I'm going to report this because you're refusing to feed your client. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he can just feed himself. I hope that guy knows that if he says he's trying to get a job today, I hope he knows it's about 9 p.m. What does this mean, Daniel? That's going to be hard to get a job at 9 p.m. Yeah, he's a lunatic. I'm assuming that's just another resident in the house. Like, this might be another person in the house, like somebody else receiving care in this house. They better get paid well for this. I'm guaranteeing you they get, like, minimum wage. <clears throat> what? what is he doing? What? So, the my understanding is the law around stuff like this is, like, you can't... I couldn't record somebody that has, like, a disability in a group home, but other people can. It's weird. He probably has he probably has like OCD and needs to flip switches or something. You don't understand. Of course, they're all watching fucking Sean Hannity. <laughs> like, <laughs> like at least we know like Sean Hannity's content is probably on the mental level of Daniel Larson. Anyway. What the fuck? This guy needs to be in a loony house. Well, Daniel, <laughs> that's where you are. So, yes, you're right. I mean, it's a derogatory way to say it, or a rude way, but, like, that's effectively where you're at, Daniel. You are in the loony house, the loony house with him. <laughs> like, it's not really a criticism for him. It's more of a criticism for you. <laughs> He see, he might he seems like he might have like OCD and he needs to like touchings or maybe he's just exploring. <clears throat> I found this shitty. Or maybe he's uh, autism. I don't really know. But yeah, no, it just seems like another person in the system that Daniel's making fun of. Like so ironic. He's such an asshole. Hello, everyone. So, oh, I think this is the last video. I yeah. am about to start politics. Okay, Daniel. I'm going to be going into politics as a part time career currently. What, what does that mean? Yes, it's only part time. But I wanted to make. I, I can't wait to see the Daniel Larson politics channel, honestly. Like, I, I would be mesmerized by, like, a. Daniel, like thick Daniel Larson politics 92. You know what I mean? Like that would be the name of the account. Um, <laughs> I, I would just love to see his like political takes. Yeah. Let me, let me have him come on stream and see what his like positions are. Ask him what the biggest problems in America are and stuff like that. Like a crazy announcement. So the normal politics is very, very professional. Okay. We have Joe Biden, okay. very professional. <laughs> I, a hot take, Daniel. I don't know if I would consider Joe Biden particularly professional. Um, Joe Biden, like, I, you guys know I'm a progressive, but Joe Biden's fucking professional? I don't know. <laughs> Not what I've seen. Barack Obama, very professional. All right, I guess if Barack Obama's all right. At least if Barack Obama has all of his senses, you know what I mean? And then we have Donald Trump. Now, when it comes to Donald Trump, all he cares about is publicity. Dude, this would have been a video where if he made this over the summer, over like the coronavirus summer, like this would have blown up. People would have been like, you go, Daniel Larson. You're right. Joe Biden and Barack Obama, they are. They... <laughs> They are really, uh, they're really professional. Donald Trump, ew, disgusting. You know what I mean? Like, this would have blown up. Um, you put him in front of a crowd, and he talks. Someone said, didn't I say I was done at Daniel? So listen, if you actually watched my videos, asshole, I'm just kidding. What I said is, I think I'm done with Daniel with all, like, the bullshit, unless something serious comes out. And, like, this, I think is serious. He's, he's treating his caregivers like shit. I think it needs to be added to the whole entire context of Daniel Larson. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what 
Barack Obama does. Hello, everyone. I have an announcement. Wow, Daniel, you're doing digital blackface right now. Did you know that? You're going to pretend to be Barack Obama? Not good. Okay. For COVID-19, we need what? to do very good vaccine. We need to have vaccines out very quick. What do you, like, what do you, I don't understand this accent. So I need everyone working on vaccine. Please donate to Moderna. Thank you. Thank what? you. The more you donate, what accent? the more money we get. Which means we build and we make more. What do I think is going on in his head? I don't know. I mean, it's possible that like he's on medication and he's on like uppers and downers or something or and he's just all over the place. Every other video is like a different tone. It's I don't understand it. Vaccine to help you guys. Yeah, it, it sounds like he's trying to imitate like a Middle Eastern accent or like some kind of an Indian accent. Like it's 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 not it's not even the right kind of racism, you know what I mean? I I just don't understand. Guys out. Maybe maybe he's saying that Barack Obama is uh is a Muslim. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to be he's trying to take a subtle uh shot at Barack Obama, pretending to support him, but really mocking him for being Middle Eastern or or Muslim or you know whatever. And you know I'm a bit ignorant. I know he's not. He's just being stupid, but. <laughs> Yeah, he's trying to be funny. That's actually like that. Honestly, is pro is is probably the truth. He's probably thinks he's being funny with like he's probably just doing a voice he thinks is like funny. Uh, and then he's like, "Oh, guys, this is funny." And it's like it's not really funny because he's uh, with because of the voice. It's I wouldn't even call it funny. It's somewhat entertaining because he's just out of his fucking mind. So you don't get COVID nineteen. Now, this is Trump's version. Hi, what's up everyone? How are you today? Oh my god, there's a bunch of people. Did you hear we're gonna have 30 to 40,000 people in here today? Man, give yourselves a round of applause. What? Man, it's a shame that I forgot my uh, suit and tie today. Oh. That's a problem. Well, at Probably. least I brought sure. my socks and underwear. Yep. What does any of this mean? <laughs> yeah, we need a Daniel Larson stand-up page. I would love... Dude, you know that Daniel Larson would be like a total wimp on stage. He would act like a tough guy on videos, and then he would like get on stage, and he would just like standing like this, like, uh, did you hear about Donald Trump? You know what I mean? Yep, give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah, dude, actually... He dude legit he watched Fox News and is now political coincidence. I think not. Probably not. Like Fox News was on TV and he decided that like he knew what he what he just knew everything. Us for being here. Yep. We got a party. We got a party. Come on, Trump. Oh, interesting. So the guy um that sent me this stuff is in the chat right now. And he said uh for context, apparently the video was captioned comedy skit audition. So I'm assuming at one point his managers convinced him to maybe do a, to have a comedy career. Supporter, Trump, supporter, Trump, supporter. Yeah, thank you. Give yourselves a round of applause for showing up. Thank you. Wow. Well, um, that's all we got. Fuck, it's so dumb. It's off my computer. There's your Daniel Larson update. Um, I guess, you know, I guess I lied when I said this is the end, but I felt like that was kind of relevant. Listen, if if Daniel Larson really wants to come on and have a conversation, I'm not scheduling anything. He's going to have to jump into my Discord and jump into, like, the Twitch chat or something, and he's going to have to talk, call me from there. Um, I'm just not going to... I'm just not going to schedule a time to have this kid on. It just doesn't... I, it's just so stupid, bro.